Hello and welcome to Oliber. JavaScript adds dynamic behavior to web pages, while TypeScript, built on JavaScript, offers advanced features like live bug checking and static typing. This blog will highlight their key differences. What is JavaScript? JavaScript, developed by Brendan Eich in 1995, is a high-level, interpreted language primarily used for client-side web development. It works with HTML and CSS to create interactive and dynamic front ends, integrates well with XML and REST APIs, and is used in modern browsers for multimedia content and web games to enhance user experience. Features of JavaScript The following features of JavaScript make web development easier, let's have a look at it. Asynchronous programming ensures app responsiveness in an API-driven world, enabling smooth communication between software applications. It promotes cleaner code, avoids callback hell, handles timeouts, and efficiently manages multiple asynchronous operations. Destructuring assignment helps developers extract values from objects and arrays, work with complex data structures, eliminate repetitive array index referencing, improve code readability, and reduce lines of code for variable assignments. Arrow functions allow developers to write concise, expressive code and provide lexical scoping, capturing the value of this from the surrounding context to avoid scope-related bugs. Simple DOM manipulation allows JavaScript to interact with XML and HTML files, bridging JavaScript and web page content. This enables the addition of dynamic and interactive functions to web pages. What is TypeScript? TypeScript, developed by Microsoft, is a statically compiled, object-oriented language for both client-side and back-end development. It enhances JavaScript, works in any ECMA Script 3 supported browser, runs on Node.js, and supports types, classes, and interfaces. The free online compiler can be used with any text editor. Why was TypeScript developed when we had JavaScript? JavaScript was initially released to enhance web page interactivity. With Node.js, it expanded to back-end development, but its complexity posed challenges. To address these, Microsoft developed TypeScript, which retains JavaScript's features while offering advanced support. TypeScript is suitable for both front-end and back-end development, especially for complex, large-scale projects. TypeScript Features Static typing requires developers to declare variable types before coding, enabling early bug detection, better IDE support, smoother development, and improved code quality. TypeScript combines old and new JavaScript features, making it compatible with all JavaScript versions, including ES7 and ES12. This ensures smooth transitions and language portability. TypeScript, being a superset of JavaScript, includes all JavaScript features plus additional ones, allowing developers to use JavaScript frameworks for client-side development effectively. TypeScript versus JavaScript, key differences. Ease of learning, TypeScript has a complex learning structure, whereas JavaScript is easy to learn. Code maintenance, TypeScript's static nature and typographical conventions promote easier code maintenance. In contrast, JavaScript's dynamic nature makes it challenging to maintain. Readability, TypeScript supports interfaces, promoting clear and concise code, while JavaScript is less readable. File extension, TypeScript uses a.ts extension, whereas JavaScript uses a.js extension. Typing, TypeScript is strongly typed, whereas JavaScript is loosely typed. Complexity, TypeScript's static features increase complexity, whereas JavaScript is comparatively less complex. Tools and frameworks, TypeScript offers nest.js, feather.js, loopback.js, adonis.js, and ts.ed. On the other hand, JavaScript offers Vue, Angular, Express, and Next.js. Syntax, TypeScript allows variable declaration, functional paradigm, and type system, while JavaScript follows the ECMA script definition and uses many structured programming terminologies. IDE support, TypeScript is supported by Visual Studio Code, WebStorm, and Vim, whereas JavaScript is supported by Atom, IntelliJ, Eclipse, Komodo, and Brackets. Debugging, TypeScript compiles the code, requiring developers to declare variables, whereas JavaScript interprets code line by line, making error detection difficult. Prototype, TypeScript supports this feature, whereas JavaScript does not. Community, TypeScript has a small but supportive community, whereas JavaScript has a large and supportive community. Data binding, 
TypeScript uses classes and objects, enabling data binding, whereas JavaScript uses first-class functions, making data binding impossible. What are the benefits of using TypeScript over JavaScript? Static nature, TypeScript's static nature helps identify bugs early, promoting code quality and maintainability. Great tooling support, TypeScript offers superior tooling support, including code navigation, intelligent code completion, and refactoring tools, boosting developer productivity. Object-oriented features, TypeScript effectively leverages object-oriented programming concepts, facilitating scalable and maintainable code bases. ES6 ES7 features support, TypeScript supports the latest ECMA script features and is compatible with JavaScript, allowing developers to use modern syntax and features. Challenges faced using TypeScript over JavaScript. Steeper curve, developers unfamiliar with static typing may find it challenging, increasing the learning curve and development time. Compilation step, TypeScript's need to convert code to JavaScript adds overhead and complexity. Extra work in smaller projects, TypeScript requires additional steps like compilation and annotations, making it less beneficial for smaller projects due to the extra work involved. Can TypeScript replace JavaScript in the future? TypeScript, a subset of JavaScript, inherits many of its characteristics but is a different language. It won't replace JavaScript, which remains crucial in web development. Unlike JavaScript, TypeScript needs to be compiled into JavaScript for execution and debugging, making it dependent on JavaScript. Additionally, TypeScript isn't ideal for all projects due to its extra steps. Both languages have their strengths and weaknesses. Thanks for tuning in to Oliver. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. For more tech insights, visit our blog, link in the description. See you next time.